one of the things that people used to do back in the day, besides talk on the radio, is drive at night. You know? I think with the hours of service, you know, and all these rules, they, you know, kind of forcing you driving it, you know, at day. So I understand. But those of you who drive still at night, don't forget to flash your lights when someone passes you. You know, and I don't mean with your bright lights. I mean turning off the lights for like a couple of seconds and then cut them back on. We'll get on the CB radio and say, hey, driver, you miss me? Hey, what's so hard about that? Uh, you know, so know it that. And, you know, and if you want to do it during the day, that's good, too. This is, you know, but it really is helpful at night, more than day. Now, obviously, if someone's passing you 20 miles faster than you, 20 miles per hour faster than you, you may say, hey, what's the point? What's the point of, of flashing somebody when, golly, and I understand that. I really do. So, you know, if you're going 60, 65, someone's passing you at 75, 80, um, do you need to flash them? Probably not. If you want to, that's still real cool, but, um, and let me also say this, if you're the one doing the passing, and if someone passes you, flick your clearance lights or turn on your hazard lights. Show appreciation that someone actually took the time to inform you that you passed them. It's going both ways, folks. You know, no one's flabby, you know. And I, I understand how a lot of people get discouraged when you tell people you pass them all the time they don't give you the common courtesy to say hey thanks appreciate you by flicking their lights I understand it because you know so let's start an effort to all of us help each other out on the road 73